Let's configure the program for your shop. Click on File, then Program Setup. Resize the screen if necessary. On the General tab, enter information about your shop. Any string of 50 characters or less entered into the email and website fields in Program Setup General tab will appear on 3-inch sales receipts. You could enter messages like All Sales Final, for example. Click on the Consigners tab. Enter the city and state where most of your consigners live. Enter the percentage the consigners receive in decimal format. Consigners can be given a percentage bonus for settling for store credit. By default, the percentage will apply to the consigner's share. Check the box if the percentage should be applied to the total sale. Set a minimum amount for settlement to avoid settling small amounts. Set a minimum number of days between settlements to avoid settling frequently. Enter a percentage in decimal format to be deducted from total credit card sales or enter zero. Check Hide Batch Settlements and Hide Percentage tool to prevent employees from using these functions. Check other options if they apply. Include layaways and settlements. Include inactives in Work Area List. Consigner records can be marked as inactive and not shown in lists if this box is unchecked. Print items sold list on settlement vouchers can be used with one check per page checks. Enable police reporting is required of consignment stores in some jurisdictions. The house account is only used to receive unsold items that are to be transferred to shop ownership. Do not use the house account for shop owned items. Create consigner accounts with zero split for shop owned items. If unsold items are to be transferred to shop ownership, check Enable the House Account. Click Save, then select the Inventory tab. If pictures of items will be taken, click Find Location and point to the folder that will contain the images. Set a default category that will be entered on Inventory Entry Screens. Check or uncheck options to print or not print barcodes date in, the discount price schedule, shop name, user defined groups, or the original price on price stubs on price labels. Check pause before print batch enter labels if that is desired. Disposal codes can be assigned and printed on price labels so clerks will know how to dispose of unsold items. These, the options are destroy, donate, or return. Check the box and enter the codes if this feature is to be used. Barcode symbology is almost always UPCA. The option is a shorter 7-digit code, UPCE. One or more discount schedules can be set to discount inventory as it remains unsold. Different schedules can be applied to different categories. The three rules to remember are that the days must be sequential, the discount is always based on the original price, and all fields must be completed as shown. Click on Edit Schedule Names to add more schedules and press F1 for instructions. Check Apply Discounts to Extra House Accounts if prices are to be reduced after having been transferred to Extra House Accounts. If applicable, Enter a dollar amount for the price items are to be priced at when they are transferred to the house account. Check Process Discounts and Transfers Automatically if desired. Click Save, then select the Printers tab. Mall and networks apply to floor space rental and connecting multiple computers to share the same database. Print Documents refers to using an ink printer to print on 8.5 by 11 stock, including adhesive and non-adhesive labels. Click the drop-down arrow to the right and select the appropriate printer. If the correct printer is not listed, it most likely needs to be installed. Receipts can be printed on a full sheet of paper using the document printer chosen above. If a thermal receipt printer is to be used, 
check Receipt Printer, and select the printer from the drop-down menu. Multiple copies of receipts can be printed, but it is usually not necessary as the program stores a copy of the receipt which can be reprinted. Check the box if the store name and address are to be printed on receipts. Thermal price labels are on rolls and can be printed using the diamond or virtual editions. Select the printer from the drop-down menu. Check the box if the Zebra 2824 or the TSC TDP 225 label printer will be used. Font size can be adjusted. The stub is the small part of a tear-off tag and the label body is the portion of the label with the barcode. Check the size and type of label that is loaded into the printer. After making changes in the future, close BCSS and reopen it to reset the program. Check the box to include barcodes on price labels if desired. Check Don't Display Print Preview Screens to prevent the print preview screen from appearing prior to printing receipts and reports. Click Save and select the Sales tab. The upper left section will only appear in the Diamond and Virtual Editions. By default, Cash Sale will be entered on the sales screen as the buyer's name. Check Manually Enter Buyer Info on Sales Invoice if actual names will be entered. Information entered will be recorded in the program and appear in the buyer's work area. When the sales screen is opened, a list of buyers will be presented. Remove the check from Check This Box to present a list of buyers to avoid this. Uncheck Show Buyers Work Area if it will not be used. Check Enable Rewards and enter a rate per thousand buyers that are to be awarded for purchases. Please press F1 in the program and refer to Rewards Program to the right of Buyers. If a cash drawer is in use without a receipt printer, check a cash drawer is directly connected to this computer through COM port and enter the number of the port. Right click on the desktop icon for computer and select manage. Click on system tools, then device manager, then ports to find the port number. Enter your state's sales tax in decimal form. Enter a second tax if applicable. Check any options that apply to sales tax. Invoice header and footer adjustments apply to full sheet reports. Check Use Touchscreen for Sales if a touchscreen is in use. A buyer fee may be deducted from a sales total before the consigner percentage is applied. Check Flat Fee 1 and enter a dollar amount or check percentage 1 and enter a percentage in decimal format. Complete the other fields for options to be presented on the sales screen. Check Deduct Buyer Fee from Prices on Inventory Lists if prices on inventory lists are to be shown less the buyer fee. Click Save and Exit. Close BCSS and restart it to register the changes. Click on Inventory, then Categories. Select an unwanted category and click Delete a category to remove it. Changes won't be saved until Save Changes is pressed. Add new categories by pressing them in the box, separated by a comma, and no spaces, and click Create New Category. Ignore user defined groups for now. There are additional ways to describe items and categories. Press F1 for details. Click on Save Changes and Exit. 